Slack have introduced something called Canvas, and in today's video, I wanted to recap everything from Dreamforce 2022 and what it means for the future of Slack and why they're taking on Microsoft Teams. So if you're new here, my name is Francesco D'Alessio. I'm the host of Keep Productive, and it'd be amazing to have you as a subscriber here on Keep Productive. So make sure you hit the subscription button below this video. So Slack have introduced something called Canvas. I wanted to break this video into two core parts canvas and huddles and i also want to tell you near the end why there's a new ability to get a jump dolphin jumping across the screen and that is a real function that they're introducing into slack so let's start with canvas so if you don't know microsoft teams has been really making some progression with something called microsoft loop recently and if you don't know what that is we have a fantastic video that dives right into it below but primarily microsoft are trying to reduce the amount of applications that you're using and sort of not let you leave things like Microsoft Teams. Now, Slack hasn't been good at this in the past. It's allowed integrations and, and powerful ways to connect things up, but never really the core experience that it needed. Well, Slack are introducing Canvas, and essentially it's a way for you to create documents, whether that's for a meeting, whether that's for onboarding, or whether that's for some other experience that you need it to that requires documents, and you can use it all within Slack. So it's actually built off of something that Salesforce already owned, and it's called Quip. They acquired that for 750 million back in 2016. And now they're introducing this as part of the documents experience inside of Slack. Inside of these quips, or <laughs> we'll call them canvases, what's the real name, is you can actually create the regular stuff you would in say a Google Doc, but also be able to interact and put Salesforce integrations and abilities without actually having to do too much. Like for example, the workflow abilities will work inside of a Canvas document inside of Slack. But it really takes that sort of leg room out from using something like Google Docs. You could use a Canvas and not leave Slack, even for meetings, which could be super powerful and save people a lot of time. So Slack are trying to bring people in, and that's great news because obviously it means that you've got a more unified platform and they're taking on Microsoft Teams. But what are they doing when it comes to huddles? So huddles are getting an upgrade and something that I would have expected them to release a long, long time ago, but they're taking on the likes of Zoom by introducing video collaboration and being able to collaborate uh, in video form in real time. This is something I was waiting for for ages because they were adding video notes, huddles with audio, and then suddenly they go, okay, we're gonna release this with huddles with video, which makes total sense if you're looking to extend things in a video format. Um, it's especially one thing that people, a lot of people would still use in Zoom on top of Slack, and this is really a great step forward. So you can interact with your canvases inside of those huddles, which make it great for taking team meetings and be able to attach those meetings to those channels or be able to start a DM, for example. And you can view all of your canvases in the top left-hand corner of the screen to be able to find everything there. So these features, Slack is saying they're gonna be coming in early um, 2023. I, they said general availability. So obviously that's gonna be an interesting update. But of course, Salesforce are gonna to continue to make this evolve and improve for those who are using it uh, for their sort of sales core platform. So really interesting updates from Slack and Canva seems like a great addition to the lineup. Let me explain the dolphin. If you go into effects inside of a huddle, you can now have a dolphin jump across the screen as well as many other animals and items, which is pretty cool. So hopefully we summarized everything that was released at Salesforce Dreamforce event 2022 and what the future of Slack will look like. It seems very interesting they're taking on Microsoft Teams with their internal ability to do stuff. And I think they're gonna to continue to evolve this in the future. But that perfect integration between Quip and Slack is a no brainer and it's great that they've been able to weave it in all together. Anyway, folks, please do subscribe. We are a channel that covers productivity tools and resources and team focused too. So it'd be great to have you. And I'm sure we'll cover more features and updates very soon about Slack. So make sure you hit subscribe and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Cheerio.